Hi, Mike and Sean from Mix Motorsport. Uh, we're going to be doing a quick video on why you need a lithion rec reg if you're going to be using a lithion battery. Um, we've been getting a lot of a lot of similar questions, and we're going to do our best to answer them for you now. I'm going to be asking most of them, and Sean's going to be answering most of them. So, um, I guess up first, why do you why do you need a lithion rec reg if you're running a lithion battery? Well, lithium-ion batteries are more sensitive to any kind of over-voltage condition. Yeah. When you're looking at a battery, you can almost kind of think of the voltage as the pressure in a container. If you put too much pressure into a container, the container bursts. So with lithium-ion batteries that want a lower voltage, we've made rectifier regulators that will charge about half a volt lower than a normal rectifier regulator to try to keep the lithium-ion battery from encountering an over-voltage problem. Okay, so that half a volt makes a big difference? Very big difference. Okay. Um, can I use, we've been ask, uh, people have been asking, can they use a lithion rec reg with a lead acid battery? You can. It's not ideal uh, no. because it, the rectifier regulator is essentially upstream of the battery in the circuit. So the rectifier regulator is going to charge at its set point regardless of whether you have a lead acid battery or a lithium ion battery. So if you put a lead acid battery in the system with a lithium ion rectifier regulator, it's going to charge at that lower number, which may not be ideal for the lead acid battery, but it's certainly better than the other way around, using a stock rectifier regulator on a lithium ion battery and potentially causing a catastrophic failure. Yeah, so you don't you don't want to use a lead acid rec reg with a lithium battery. No, that no. is the hazardous area. <laughs> okay. Um, do they fit? Do I bolt up like regular? stock rec regs? Yes. Yes, they do? Yep. Um, with our lithium ion rectifier regulators, for instance, this is a 14-100, this is a 10-100. They're the exact same metal casting, the same connector, same plugs. Mm -hmm. As much as possible, we always try to make things direct plug-ins. If they're not direct plug-ins, it'll be clearly cited on the listing. But the lithium ion rec regs are made to be the same kind of direct plug-in as a stock replacement. Okay. Do I have to do any special modifications when I install the lithion rec reg on my bike? Nope. Again, it's uh, intended to be just a direct replacement. Um, other than any modifications that would be required normally for your lithium ion installation, the rec reg should just plug in and go. Nice. Um, on the website, People have been asking if how to order, like what's the difference between ordering a lithion rec reg or a lead acid rec reg? Well, the regular stock replacements for the lead acid batteries are going to have the 10 dash part number, and the lithium ion ones are going to have a 14 dash part number because they're made specifically to charge at an even 14 volts instead of the normal 14.5 set point. Nice. Okay. So the 14 prefix is lithion. The one zero prefix is lead acid. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. Um, how do, if I have if I already have a rec reg a Rix rec reg installed on my bike, is there any way I can tell if it's a lithion or a lead acid? Yep. If you look at the bottom of the rectifier regulator, the lithium ion rec regs will have an R logo, basically our company logo on the bottom, mm -hmm. and the stock ones will not. Awesome. Those those are the most often asked questions we get here. Hopefully, we've been able to help you out. Is there? Uh, is there anything else that you have to add? Or? Um, just that if you're going to be doing this sort of modification, I strongly recommend do it on paper first. Uh, have your modification planned out before you get the tools going, before you start taking your motorcycle apart, start spending hundreds of dollars on replacement parts. Have everything planned out so you know what you're doing when you actually put the bike up on a lift and start wrenching on it. Very, very good idea. All right. So that's pretty much all we got. Hopefully we were able to help you out. Thanks for watching.